Let's go through an actual example of a customer journey. Let's say it's 6 p.m. and I want to go to a restaurant. There's at least one hour of wait time. I just simply joined the wait list from the smart wait. I put my first name, last name, and my mobile number. I get a text message confirming that I've joined the wait list and I'll show up five minutes before my table is ready and I'm seated like a VIP. You should be treating every customer like a VIP. As soon as the customer is seated, now the smart POS system knows that the customer is seated, John, table 44, with four people in his party. Now everyone can just simply open up the camera on their phone, point it to the QR code, look at the entire menu electronically, be able to look at pictures of the menu, read reviews about other customers on an individual item, be able to even order directly from the smart menu without even downloading an app. And as soon as the transaction is completed and it's paid for, it automatically uploads to the cloud. So now we know it was John, we have his mobile number, and we know exactly what items he ordered and the entire purchase history is uploaded to the cloud. So now let's say the next day, John gets an email, a personal message from the manager that says, hi John, we noticed you came in yesterday and please provide us your feedback and in exchange for your feedback, we'll give you a free appetizer. And John logs into the website, provides the feedback. Of course, we have our smart logic system, which determines whether he had a good or a bad experience. If he had a positive experience, we automatically show him a social media page. He can like you on Facebook, tweet about you, or leave a review directly on Yelp or Google page for that specific location. Clearly, if they had a negative experience, we wouldn't even show them the social media links. So they would have no way to share that directly from the survey system. So now we're driving profitability and measuring the actual ROI on each individual customer. Let's say I, we give John a $5 off coupon and he comes in, spends $50 every time and we give another $5 off coupon to Tom, but Tom only spends $10. So we shouldn't be wasting our time, energy, effort, or marketing dollars on Tom and just let him come in when he wants to come in. However, John, we will reward him every time he comes in so we can keep bringing him back in because we have a higher ROI on John. Go to the website, sign up for a free trial. You'll be up and running within a couple of hours and you'll see the power of Milagro.